What is going on guys? Real Thoughts GML here back with another Java tutorial and today it all comes down to this one because we are going to be creating keyboard input where you can actually move your player around with your keyboard. Uh, so if you go ahead and play it here, as you can see I did change the background from last tutorial because uh, the background was a little too small last time but uh, went ahead and fixed that and uh, Here's our player, and by the end of today, we will be able to use the arrow keys to move him around. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, what we're going to do is right-click the source file, new class, and we're going to name this key input, and we're going to package it as com dot real touch gml dot real touch gml dot src dot input finish that and as you can see we get a new package and a new file here and here is our um, class so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and extends key adapter right off the bat import it and actually doesn't need any methods so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say player P we're gonna create our player object so go ahead and import the player and we're gonna create a constructor for our uh, key input so public key input and now we're gonna say uh, player P Whoop. and we're gonna say this dot P equals P and again we use this because we're referring to this one and then P equals this one here and I'll, and I'll explain why we're doing this in a second here but now we're gonna say if uh, you know we're gonna I'm sorry public void key pressed key event e and then public void key released key event e all right and then you have to import key event so there we are and now we have our um Our key input class. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just kind of blanked out for a second there. And uh, whatever object you want to go ahead and control with the keyboard, you're going to want to make it uh, as a as a uh, object here, and you're going to want to put it in the uh, constructor. Now, and again, I'll tell you why we're doing this. It won't make sense if I explain it right now, so I'm going to explain it further on. But uh, go ahead and copy this, the key pressed and key release, and go into your player class and just paste that down and now you have two methods here the public void key pressed and the public void key released so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two more variables up here it's going to be int velocity x and int velocity y and we're actually gonna equal them to zero and this is going to be again be our velocity x and a vo velocity y uh, so yeah so in the uh in the update we're gonna do x plus equals velocity x and y plus equals velocity y now if you remember in my last tutorial go ahead and click that link in the description if you've not seen it but we did x plus equals 5 and what happens is uh, it goes through this update class or the our game loop which updates it and uh, it goes 5 to the right of its x position X position so since this is to zero when we play it it won't be moving anywhere because it's uh, X plus plus it itself which is zero so there's it won't move but if we say if we put this to say five then it's going to move to the right so all we have to do in this key input and key release is change the velocity X variables so we're gonna say int, we're gonna create a new integer, key equals e dot get key code. And we're gonna create a switch statement. So switch. Uh actually no, we're actually not going to. We're gonna say if key equals equals key event dot vk we'll say right. We'll do that. We'll say else if key equals equals key event dot vk left we'll say and then we can do else for if 
key equals equals key event dot vk right or I'm sorry we already did right down and then one more for the up else if key equals equals key event dot vk up so that actually should be pretty simple you can you can copy that and paste it down in our key release now and all we have to do is uh, a very simple way of doing it is if uh, key equals equals remember we put this equals equals because that is uh, seen if it equals something if we just put equals that's saying we're setting key to be something if we set equals equals that means it's checking so key event dot VK right this is also in game maker if you're familiar with game maker then uh, VK right VK left that that is also in game maker so that should not be too uh, new to you so we're gonna say velocity X equals 5 and then in the left velocity X equals negative 5 and then in the down velocity Y equals 5 and velocity Y equals negative 5 and then all we have to do in here is say velocity X equals 0 0 0 and zero and this is in the key release so this is a very actual simple way of doing it later on we will get into a more uh, I don't know a more advanced way of doing it but it, it's it's going to be better in general because we're not going to have there might be a little bit of lag here within if we press our up arrow key and then we switch to our right arrow key right away there might be a little bit of lag but uh so we'll have to fix that in the future but now if we went ahead and play it as you can see and you and you try and move you actually it doesn't work and that is because we need to add a key listener and that is why we uh, put in this key input method here or this class so in our game class under the P uh, under here in our constructor we're gonna oh this is the paint class what am I doing uh, all right, so under our con in our constructor under the the definition of P for our player, we're going to say add key listener new key input P, and we need to uh, import key input here. And there we go. So now, if we play it, it still doesn't work. I'll tell you why in a second, but. Add key listener. Actually, we actually need that because it's kind of like its name says it. It's a key listener. It listens for the keys. Uh, so in here, though, we're gonna have to uh, create a new key input, and in the parameters of our key input, we're gonna put P, which mean that which means that it's going for our player class. So once once uh, it creates the new key input for our player P, uh, we actually need to now say P dot key pressed e p dot key released e and now once this key input is called uh, it's once uh, this is hard to explain but once our key input is called for the p uh, object which is our player then it's going to also call these so every time uh, a key is pressed it's going to call p dot key pressed with the variable e inside of it and once that's called it's actually gonna call this function right here uh, I know I just got a bunch of class function messed up I'll explain this again after I'm done just kinda recap but uh, then it's gonna call this and then same with the key released uh, so let's go through this one more time it creates a new key input with the p uh, object here in our key input it's going every time we press the key it's going to call our p dot key pressed function which is in our player which is why we set it to public so we can use it and uh, it's gonna call this right here so if we went ahead and played it now as you can see we now have key input so now we can move our player around with our keyboard and again this may not be the most uh, productive way of doing it but we will get into that in the future so go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe if you thought this tutorial was helpful now if you if you did not understand anything 
go ahead and leave a comment and I will try and help you the best I can but uh yeah go ahead and leave a like go and subscribe I will see you guys next time